Hey you guys, Shane here, and I'm gonna show you a quick, easy, body weight, high intensity interval training workout that you can do anytime, anywhere. You need zero equipment, and it's one that you can easily progress. You can make it more challenging or less challenging, depending on how you are feeling that day. Because as you know, every day that we work out, it's a very different workout. Sometimes we feel like we can rock it. Some days we just feel like we can only show up and that is totally fine. We just come to it with 100% intention to do some good stuff. So make it work for you, right? We are all very different people. What I'm going to do today for this high intensity interval training workout is use my Tabata app. It is a 15 second on, 15 second recovery, so equal work and recovery ratio for my intervals. Now you guys have fun with playing through intervals. You can do 30 seconds on, 15 off. Uh, 20 on, 10 off. I'm doing 15 on, 15 off. And I'm gonna do just every exercise one time. And then after that full set, you can complete it three, four, five more times depending on how you're feeling. Changing those intervals greatly changes the workout and the experience that you will have. Again, I'm starting with equal work and recovery. I'm gonna put it down. What we're gonna do today are jogs, sprints, jumping jacks, speed skaters, jump squats, even some burpees, some high knees. So just have fun with it, you guys. Remember, take it at your own pace. When we are doing a workout, remember, you wanna warm up. So if I'm doing squats in my workout, I want to do some squats in my warm-up. If I'm doing scissors in my workout, I will likely do some lateral lunges for my warm-up, right? If I'm doing lunges or scissor feet, I will start with some easy body weight reverse lunges to really open up those hips, right? Maybe some big up or down, up and down movements with the arms for those jumping jacks. Nice easy rotations are rarely a bad idea, you know, big arm circles forward, just get the body warmed up and ready to go. Again, 15 on, 15 off, you guys. I'm gonna start with jog or sprint or high knees. Let's do this together, you guys. All right, I'm turning that timer on. And just jog, right? So you can start with an easy jog. You can go a little faster. You can go high knees. The key is for those 15 seconds, do your best effort, however you're feeling today, and relax. I'm gonna turn the timer up, because I can hear it, but I don't wanna have to work too hard for it. So now we're gonna go into jumping jacks. Remember, 15 seconds of work, 15 seconds of recovery, three, two, one, easy jumping jacks. Nice and easy. This can be high impact right here, beautiful low impact, right? High intensity does not need to be high impact, you guys. Make it work for you. You can pick up that tempo, go slower, and relax. Just keep moving for those 15 seconds. We're gonna go into speed skaters, you guys. So make sure you have room side to side. And again, you can start nice and easy or go big. Ready, set, go. So this is me taking it low impact. Let those arms go wherever you feel like to help you balance. If you start to feel a little more comfortable, Maybe go a little bigger. Maybe you slow it down, take it a little deeper, right? Relax, 15 seconds. My goodness, can you hear that? This is hard work. Let's go into some jump squats, you guys. So easy squats to start again. Start low, you can always go high. You just wanna press those hips back nice and easy. If you want, roll up to those toes. Then if you want from there, you can add that plyometric, you can add that jump. You can do a knee to a squat to keep it lower impact. Good, relax. My goodness. You guys, just have fun with it, okay? We're gonna take it, I'm gonna show side view, because we're gonna do scissors. And I want you to see what this looks like. It's basically skiing, if you will. So start split stance and just scissor here. Again, you can go slower, right? Or you can go a little quicker. If you want, you can take it to that power lunge. Single, single drop, single, single drop, right? Or just going to those drops and relax. During your recovery, you guys, stay up, stay moving. We're gonna take it to quick feet. So my legs are wide, pushing those hips back. 
spine long and neutral, you guys, and just go. Quick feet. Just let it shake. My thing is, be happy you've got something to shake, right? Remember, you're here. Quick feet, upper body stable. Let those arms go wherever you feel like they need to go. And relax. One more, you guys. We're gonna go into the burpee, okay? Shall I show you, show you a side view here? Remember, you can always start with those beautiful squats. You never have to add that kick back. Ready, set, go. You can start here. If you want, you step it back one leg at a time. Stand tall. Then if you want, double leg. Stand tall. If you want, double leg. Add that jump. Double. Add that jump. And relax. 15 seconds to recover. I'm going to turn this off. All right? So that was one round. I could just keep going, go back to the top, and go through it two more times. A very effective and efficient way to get that heart rate up in a short period of time. It's a really great way to train you guys to really work on your endurance. Short periods of time at higher intensity will help you work on your endurance. Have fun with this body weight hit workout, you guys.